Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Downfall. Even though it might not seem it for anyone watching, it's actually been a bit since I've recorded the first episode just because this is a bonus thing, so I was kind of busy with every other um, series, but I'm finally got some time to uh, play through the whole game, probably. <laughs> um, so I'm excited for that again. Very excited for the game, and we had a pretty good intro for. Okay, so. What happened? Memory, memory. Um, we had a little. We're playing as Joe. I forgot his last name. We had a so a prologue showing his bat story of how he met his future wife, involving his little brother getting exploded by a grenade because he was an idiot. It happens to the best of us. Um, and right now we're having a rocky marriage. Um, Joe's trying to fix it by doing something i think like we're at a motel though i think there's more or a hotel i don't know if it's a motel i think there's more to the plan than going to a motel like some sort of trip but so far it's not going well the wife seems kind of crazy talking about demons and stuff and um and we didn't do too good when we tried to uh convince that we love her <laughs> um when you had to choose those three options i remember that being funny but right now we're in like a field i don't really know what's up with that um so i'm just trying to guess it's a dream i think we went to sleep after i don't want to say failing at i i mean tet, yes we did fail at convincing the wife but i think it's just uh i don't know if any um combination would have satisfied her but yeah anyways i'm excited to play i'll be playing this like throughout the week so let's go then Again, big cat lady fan. So I kind of like, we do see him in the cat lady. Though I assume he's like a ghost type person because that's like far in the future. Um, Jesus. I was like, I remember to save. Luckily it auto saved or quick saved. But, should definitely be making fucking hell. It's a little spooky. How's the volume? I'm gonna assume it's fine, but let me just check if it saves. 20. I'll turn it down a, a tiny bit. Yeah. Whew. Getting back into the mood. Little, little, ju little jumps here and there. Loud noises scare me. <laughs> Okay, three times and you're pushing it. Hell Road. Oh, it's a door. Examine. 12 Helen Road. This is where we live. Okay, did a little tour of the home. Thank you for auto saving. Examine a communal mo mailbox. Joe and Ivy Davis. That's her last name. Flat four. Looks like there's something inside. It's locked, but maybe I should just force it open? Mm. Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Alright. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. Oh, okay, taking over the parents' place. Okay, so we're... Doing a little level here. Smell the flowers. No, even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. Locker. Brick wall. Examine. Great, the staircase had been blocked by this wall. Oh, I hate when that happens. They just brick off my staircase. Looks like it's been moved recently. Hmm? Search. This is like one of my books. What is it doing here? New item added. How do we access this again? Right, we have a cat made in it. Oh, we got it from the hotel. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't need that right now. Sorry. And book. Most of the books I own are written by St Stephen King. What can I say? I'm a fan. 
actually when we were doing uh joe's thing in the cat lady there was a little puzzle involving stephen king so oh oh shit i wonder if this is the same book because i do remember finding something in a book during uh, the joe part in the cat lady and a stephen king book so <laughs> man maybe you just would have known if you uh played this first a screwdriver instead of book how odd i'll better take it with me can use it to open the mailbox it's a door to the basement nobody goes down there anymore yeah why not it's locked that's why not maybe next time force open uh do i need to just manually use this yeah Oh, letter. Let's see what that's about. Oh, our screwdriver's done. It's from Frank Zellman. Do I know him? The name seems vaguely familiar. There's a 10 pound note and a key inside. Weird, why would anyone send me this? $10 and a key. Oops, don't want to do that. Salmon, whoever sent me this tea must be trying to help me. Well, that's an assumption. You don't even know who this man is. Key to the basement. Thank you, Frank Zalman. Such a sketchy name. Oops. Ooh. Oh, this is the... Right. This is the basement from uh the cat lady. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, because the apartment was built over the hotel, right? Salmon. It won't work. The furnace has been broken for years. In a apartment building. That kind of sucks. Nothing happened. A rusty old furnace, and yeah, it's broken. Hmm. Maybe put something in there. Yeah, we don't want to go past this wall, <laughs> from what I remember. <laughs> Salmon, our cat Lucifer would have loved this toy clock. Yoinks. Well, we just took it. Whoever buys this sort of stuff, the cat seems to love it though. Um, hey, who are you? I see blood. I'm friendly, by the way. Um, Frank, I died. Hopefully, that was scripted. There's nowhere to go. Maybe you could have went into the furnace, though. That seems like a bad idea. Ah, just a bad dream. It's better than dying IRL. Whoa. Oh. She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. That was a fun little sequence. It is a little spooky, huh? Going into this game, because the tally wasn't that spooky besides a few parts. But there's like a nice little horror feel. It's pretty effective <laughs> so far this episode for me. This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on my left side. Nice. It's very old. Single beds? No, that's not all right. We've been together for nearly 10 years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. Oh, yeah, they gave us single beds when we wanted just one, right? All right, let's go get some brekkie. Not a breakfast guy myself, but I respect it. Ooh, this is our neighbor that we're not supposed to disturb. Yeah. Let's go anyways. Ha ha. Stairs. <laughs> Very inconvenient. And then this creepy ass room. Don't mind me just snooping. 
And this was... Oh wait, never mind. Look at this freaking mirror, dude. This place is... Look at that picture, man. What even is that? Oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's like birds and shit. To me, it looks like a really mutilated face. <laughs> Would love to stay here. It'll probably just because it looks spooky. Not romantic at all. Anyways. Let's go find Ivy. It's storming still. Go to the cellar. Oh, an elephant. Is it? It is an elephant. From my, it looks like a hippo from uh, from my position, but... Why would he lie? <laughs> you wouldn't lie. I mean, there's a big-ass elephant here. Can we get another gift? We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. It reads, Teak up the Tea Master. Right, we already saw this, but... It, Again, it's probably been like a month or even a bit more since I played the first episode, so. We're familiarized. Hello, animal there? people. Did you sleep well? What the fuck is this? Where the fuck is my wife? Um, both are important, but I kind of want to know what's happening here. What the fuck <laughs> is this? I love the voice acting. It's so That's good, man. I thought you were, after all. Ivy did warn, she's the devil, or something. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? It's just the dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. Um... Yeah. All bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. <laughs> and yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Where the fuck is my wife? Who are you? Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. <sighs> At first, she sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. The Maybe letter? But Crossover? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere, but I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? Who are you? Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. <laughs> you surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bit of wine on some other occasion. Thank you. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. She looks kinda cute. Though I think from memory the wife actually looked pretty cute too, so <laughs> we I'm trying to save the marriage if I can. That's my goal. Her room is just behind your wall. One oh two. Oh. I told you to not go to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. If she's half mad as you, my wife's not safe with that. Sophie, I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. I like the first one. Did a little personal with her. She's even half as mad as you. She seems to like it. And I thought we were friends, Joe. <laughs> but I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. Take a sit. All these worries fade away in no time at all. I don't care about breakfast. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> bad way to start the day, Mr. Davis. They say it's the most important meal of the day. I'm not a breakfast guy. Fuck that. I've got to go. Just eat a slightly early lunch. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. I could use a little cup of coffee. I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Thank you. What a nice person. Hello, animals. Should I save? How do I save? Yeah. 
Make sure we save often. Though we don't really go back on our choices and you respawn, I think, anyways. So maybe we don't save. We're going Iron Man. We don't change our choices. I said that about the letter, but this will be different, I swear. What's in here? Can we go to the kitchen? Grab a piece of toast first? Sophie? Who there? Oh, it's Teacup. Looking cute. Hello, Stradley. Hey, give me the tea. It ate it. That's why it's the tea master. Give it. What the? My tea. Well, it's too late. Let's just leave without it, Joe. Sophie seems like a nice person. This soundtrack's pretty sick. Hey, is this... What the... Where are we? <laughs> so true. I love this already, man. <laughs> no cap. Ooh, look at that picture. The soundtrack bops. Come on, kitty. I'm friendly. Where are we even going? What the... Which way now? Um, it's a little trippy. Uh -huh. It's a very cool effect. We'll just go in order, I guess. Hello, I'm looking for teacup. This is scaring me. Oh, man. What's happening on the telly? It's a little gray. Oh, slowly. Um. Oh, it's me. Where are the featurettes? Hello, I'm looking for my wife. There's a cold draft coming through. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what's happening, but it's a great time. Teacup, it's freaking storming. Or is that just snow? Is it snow? I don't know, it's freaking hard raining. Jesus, it's blowing a car away. We're just built different, I guess. Thank you for the auto. Damn it. Home sweet home. Ah. Shall we go home? I guess we shall. Please no axe man. Here, yeah, mailbox is opened. Bobby. Oh man, everything's the same, eh? It's a little scary. Guess this will still be open. Yep. <laughs> there you are. Oh. Teacup. You're surrounded. <laughs> Just don't get axed. Bro, you just let him run past you. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. Maybe I should use it as a trap, if only to catch this damn cat. It's already open. How would I use it though? Maybe I close it first? How 
does it react? <laughs> There's nothing. Do we have any items? Oh, we do. We have the chat lock. Right, and the chat lights the clocks. As uh, Joey said. Sounded a little weird. <laughs> kind of forgot about that, eh? Okay. Use it. Nice little clock. Come on, kitty. Teacup. I just want the tea. No. Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, I back away. I'm sorry, Teacup. It was automatic. It happens. Maybe in next life. Wait, you have nine lives still, right? Maybe not. Ouch, it's too hot. What can I do? Can I... Ten pounds? <laughs> I don't... Why am I closing it? Maidnet? Really? I'll put it up with a maidnet. Is that worse? Is your pocket burning? Show. I'm scared. Hold me, bro. It's so dark. Can't even turn the switch. What is happening? <laughs> We're tripping out, dude. I just want to see my wife. That was a cool, cool one. <laughs> it's a little trippy. We did get Sophie's key, though. Damn it. It's still warm. Poor teacup. It happens. And our lady friend is in here. You said she's at the top office, but the top office is blocked, unless it's unblocked later. Cellar. This is time to meet the Sophie person. Hopefully she's friendly. <laughs> I have ten dollars. Don't kill me. I'll trade it for my wife. Ooh, you're cute. Mirrors. Hey, isn't this like the mirror room? With uh the Ivy was in the cat lady? Something similar to this. Look at why is she wearing a mask? Talk to you. Who are you? There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. What is this place? Why are all the mirrors? Where's my wife? There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start, and I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. <laughs> what is this place? Why all the mirrors? And why are they all broken? <laughs> <laughs> this is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. <laughs> I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. That's what all the mad people say. <laughs> Where's my wife? Where's my wife? <laughs> <laughs> The way he pronounces it. Hidden away, so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. 
You didn't answer my question. Where are we? I don't know where you are, girl. But I am home. Why did you break all these mirrors? Yeah. Let's just say your lovely wife can put up quite a fight. But it was not enough. Do you say a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. The Axe Man? <laughs> lurking around for quite a while. What was his name? Francis? <laughs> Faint? I don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, girl. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. Faint Ivy for making the monster peace stronger. Peace Apparently we are chilling. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Might as well. She seems like a nice girl. Okay, I'll do it. Which one? Any. Mm, I like this oval. Oh, I just would do this one. It's trash just like the other mirrors. Look into. Frank. Frank. Ooh, look at this. Sit, sit, sit. Hey, that was written on the door in the cat lady. And his room. Ooh, it's a mirror. Oh, it's. It's Fat Ivy! From the cat lady. Ew. What? <laughs> Beautiful. What the? She does look pretty that? scary. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's maybe beautiful to some. nothing you can do but sometimes if you're willing to sacrifice everything you can achieve the impossible define everything <laughs> no uh, i'll save her she seems like a nice person I'll do anything to save her. good then i'll tell you what to do it's very simple really you just have to kill me. Well. What? Why? I want to die, girl. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. I can't just kill you. I can do this without your help. What do you mean you're a memory? I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Who do you think I am? It was an accident. Actually, it was. It wasn't us. It was the guy with the axe. She, she's right. I thought it just turned on by itself, but it was actually him who turned on the furnace. I didn't kill the cat. It was that creep. With an axe. Frank Zeller. Uh, sweet denial. You don't understand what happened. You weren't even I, there, lady. I didn't mean to burn it. Wait for that poor animal to shit it. <laughs> Language. You both know the truth, girl. You are not a patient man. You knew from the start that this kitty had to fry. <laughs> now be a man and admit it. No. And then kill me. I can do this without your help. What do you mean you're a memory? Maybe I can't do this without your help, though. I don't want to turn her off. Or turn her down. 
Who the head Sophie? The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. Mm. The world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. We have a mission! But how do I know if you're telling the truth? Kill Sophie's! <laughs> Cute. This is the madness, Joe. I can do this without your help. I can do this without your help. Joe, you never listen. It's time to open your eyes. I swear I didn't kill the cat on purpose. I swear I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? It wasn't even me! But, never mind. Actually, it was what an accident, if now? anything, to be fair. Why should you explain yourself to me? How should I kill you? How? How should I kill you? Poison me. <laughs> Just give me something. I want this sounds kind of peaceful. And never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. Try it. Try it, Tom. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison. Who? <laughs> All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. Who the heck is Sophie and what does she have to do with my wife? <laughs> or us? This is so messed up. <laughs> Very simple. Kill four memories. Got it. But me first. I'll think about it. Glad we came to an understanding. Oh, phone's ringing. BRB. Maybe it's Ivy. Do we even have a phone here? Oh, the letter. Letter part one. It's from Ivy. Part of the letter has been torn off. Read. Part one. Find them all. I will. I'm sealed. You know. We were good together. I'm always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. Glad you liked something. <laughs> I will save you, don't worry. Don't worry about it. True ending incoming. I thought we had a phone in here, but I guess it's a phone somewhere else. Good thing we came back though. Gotta get that little letter. Keep our eye out for some letters. Hello? I'm looking for the letter. Came through here. Devil came through here. <laughs> it's not nice. No graffiti. This was where uh, spooky fat monster girl was. Well, we went the wrong way. I'm, I'm also looking for the other part of the letter, so... Do a little expo. Oops, still have ten dollars too. We need to go to the cellar, right? Elephant. Never forgets. 
Yes, yes. Where's the service lady, man? Telephone. I will answer. Examine. Nothing unusual about that. Answer. Ooh. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, B, I'm just trying to look for the letter. Wasn't it? Didn't she say there's a letter in here? Or maybe she didn't. They're waiting. Well, they can wait a little longer. <laughs> it's locked. Alright. Glad the lift is working again. Uh, oops. Ground first. We're on ground. I guess we check all the floors since I don't. First floor is just uh. Our floor, right? One oh one. Ah, the police tapes off. Okay, beautiful. All right. So second then. We're looking for poison. They said the basement, but I don't know how to get there. Hey! Hello. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Are you one of the memories? Must be that Maybe. Must be. Then again, it always rains here. Get lost. I have no time for small talk. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. None of this is real, and neither are you. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Seem a little heroic. Yes, the lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. <laughs> you know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her, are we? Well, go on then. I'll wait. Just let me know when you've had enough. Then you can have me. Any way you want. Tempting. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? <laughs> Are you coming on to me? Maybe. Storming, bro. Don't. <laughs> You're playing hard to get, but I know deep inside, you're burning with desire. Don't. I've got to go now. It gets busy this time of day. But come find me in my office later. And then we can finally get really milkweed. Do we do it? I mean, if you bring the wine, I mean, what can I say? Lots of suitcases. A couple of corridors. How are we doing for time? 38 minutes. We can play a little longer. I don't mind. I bet she is a memory of Sophie that we'll have to deal with later. Still right corridor first. Guys, I'm friendly. I didn't like that noise. What is that picture, man? Bah! You peace. Yes, that actually got me. Vending machine? Oh, cigarette. It's a vending machine that sells packs of cigarettes. Push. We are strong. What the heck? That's a one-hander. Use? There are 10 pounds of pad. I should put the money in the slot and press the button. Can I just shake it? Okay, I don't know if I want to use my $10 now, though. Though I don't know if I'll ever get another use for it. Ah, oh, thank you for lighting up. Kinda. Oh, wait, no, that's just the lightning. Storming both in and out of the game, eh? Oh, 206. Lucky. Hello. Looks like a terrarium for a spider. Never know. That might come in handy. 
If uh, you could keep a pet tarantula in it, not that I ever would. I hate spiders. Same. I'm also a spider hater. Lover. Chair. Oh, it's the doctor. Some basement you are in. Hold on one second there. Okay. We didn't have a fun time with the doctor and the tat lady. Hopefully this one's a bit more pleasant. Tempting. I'm not sure what it does. I better leave it alone for now. If this is an electric chair, there's some cables running from the chair further into the room. Is it an old Sparky? That's a terrible idea. Hello. Hi. Are we disturbing you? I'm busy. Oh, Just sorry. Get on with it and be quick. What's going on here? Tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. What bad things? What bad I guess I don't need to read it out. <laughs> it's a force of habit. The whispering from the walls. Those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're there all right. Watching. You're crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's this place that is crazy. That's what crazy people say. Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. Ah. Uh. Hey, so she moved. Brain surgery. Tomatati? Jesus, man. What the Is that you? Oh, this, <laughs> older this days? It's called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. Better not be Ivy. So it's an autopsy? So it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save I'm Trying to be friendly with everyone. You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. <laughs> I'm trying to find my wife. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Who is she anyway? Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. One of Sophie? Or Sophie's body? Agnes. Oh, well. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. <laughs> Good one. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one... <sighs> Title card. Can you save me? You can't save everyone. You're full of shit. Can you save me? Yes. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Ah! I need to go there anyways. For the poison. Can you go and fetch it for me? I'm not a god. Go fetch it yourself. Fine, I'll go. Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. And we can double. Wait, there's more I wanted to talk about. I would... Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock. And it's getting louder! Well. As you say that, I think we're gonna have to end the game here, guys. Uh, episode... Two. There we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm having a blast, dude. It's a little spookier than I even thought it was going to be, but it's a good thing. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed that now that we have a goal. Maybe. I don't know if it's optional or not, but we have to help this crazy doctor guy. And we have to go kill four memories of Sophie, whoever the heck that is. 
And we had to look for some letters and save the wife eventually. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty full list of things to do, but I'm sure we got this. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll hopefully, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!